bless the Lord, all these servants of the Lord, who stand by night in the house of the Lord, lift up your hands in the whole The Franciscan Friars in India offer masses for the following intentions. For the soul of Stafford Peterson on the birthday of remembrance. For the soul of Edward Chandra Babu by family members. For the soul of Stafford Peterson on the birthday of remembrance by wife, daughters and family members. For the soul of Edward Chandra Babu, Mary Selin Chandra Babu. For the soul of Rain Anthony D'Souza, Kevin Peter D'Souza, Joshua Maria Daly. For the soul of Arthur David and Rosaline David by grandchildren. For the soul of Rosaline and Arthur David by family members. And Thanksgiving Mass on the birthday of Rhoda Stonston Johnston by Kenny and family members. Thanksgiving Mass offered by Charlotte and Eslyn Gonzalez. Along with these intentions, let us add our own during this Eucharistic celebration. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brethren, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, our Virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, O Lord, that we may always revere and love your holy name, for you never deprive of your guidance those you set firm on the foundation of your love. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the second book of the Kings, chapter 17, verses from 5 to 8, 13 to 15, and 18. 
the king of Assyria invaded all the land and came to Samaria and for three years he besieged it. In the ninth year of Hosea, the king of Assyria captured Samaria and he carried the Israelites away to Assyria and placed them in Hala and on the harbor, the river of Gozan and in the city of Medes. And this was so because the people of Israel had sinned against the Lord their God, who had brought them out of the land of Egypt from under the hand of Pharaoh, king of Egypt, and had feared other gods and walked in the customs of the nations whom the Lord drove out before the people of Israel and in the customs which the kings of Israel had introduced. Yet the Lord warned Israel and Judah by every prophet and every seer, saying, Turn from your evil ways and keep my commandments and statutes in accordance with all the law which I commanded your fathers and which I sent to you by my servants, the prophets. But they would not listen, but were stubborn as their fathers had been, who did not believe in the Lord their God. They despised his statutes and his covenant that he made with their fathers and the warnings which he gave them. Therefore, the Lord was very angry with Israel and removed them out of his sight. None was left but the tribe of Judah only. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. Help with your right hand, O Lord, and reply. Help with your right, right hand, hand, O Lord, and reply. O God, you have rejected us and broken us. You have been angry. Come back to us. Your response? Help with your right, right hand, hand, O Lord, Lord and reply. reply. You have made the earth quake, torn it open. Repair what is shattered for its ways. You have inflicted hardships on your people and made us drink a wine that dazed us. Your response? Help with your, your right, right hand, hand, O Lord, and reply. Will you utterly reject us, O God, and no longer march with our armies? Give us help against the foe, for the help of man is in vain. Help with your right hand, O Lord, and reply. Mountains may depart and the hills be removed, but my steadfast love shall not depart from you. Though the mountains may depart and the hills be removed, but my steadfast love shall not depart from you. For a brief moment I forsook you, but with great compassion I will gather you. For a brief moment I forsake you, but with great compassion I will gather you. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. 
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Chapter 7, verse 1 to 5. Jesus said to his disciples, Judge not that you be not judged. For with the judgment you pronounce, you will be judged. And measure you give will be the measure you get. Why do you seek the peck that is in your brother's eye, but do not notice the log that is in your own eye? Or how can you say to your brother, Let me take the speck out of your eye, when there is the log in your own eye? You hypocrite! First take the log out of your own eye, and then you will see clearly to take the speck out of your brother's eye. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. Judge not, and you will not be judged, as we saw in this Gospel. The measure that we give will be the measure that we get back. In St. Paul's letter to the Ephesians, chapter 6, verse 8, it says, When you are kind, when you are good to someone else, the Lord also will be good to you, will be kind to you. So also, in Matthew chapter 18, verse 23 says, If the, it was the unmerciful servant, he also was not received mercy. He received mercy from the Lord, but he was not mercy, merciful to his own servants. Therefore, he was punished. We also see in the letter of St. James, chapter 4, verse 12, There is only one judge and lawgiver. Who are you to judge your own brothers and sisters? If we are judging, then we are pushing the Lord away from his position and we are taking the seat of judgment, which is only the Lord's. We are literally pushing the Lord and we are taking the place of Jesus. And therefore, the Lord says, Judge not, and you will not be judged. And in the letter of St. James, chapter 3, verse 6, it says, This tongue, which is very small, but it stains the entire body. The tongue is small, but this small tongue strains the entire body and therefore with this same tongue we praise the Lord with this same tongue we curse somebody we curse our own brothers and sisters therefore St. James asked us to control this tongue to tame this tongue if necessary use words or don't use and therefore, my brothers and sisters, as the gospel way is very clear, do not judge and you will not be judged. Today, let us, instead of judging others, gossiping about others, or speaking ill about others, let us love one another. Let us speak good about others, as the letter of Ephesians Chapter 6, verse 8 says, If you do good to everyone, the Lord also will do good to you. Amen.
Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Father Almighty. May, may the Lord, Lord accept, accept the sacrifice at your hands for the, the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. Receive, O Lord, the sacrifice of conciliation and praise, and grant that cleansed by its action, we may make offering of a heart pleasing to you, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your heart. We, we lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord, for out of compassion for the waywardness that is ours, he humbled himself and was born of the Virgin. By the passion of the cross, he freed us from the unending death, and by rising from the dead, he gave us life eternal. And so with the angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with the, all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you.
In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith Save us, Savior of the world For by your cross and resurrection You have set us free Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and George Anthony Swami, our Bishop, and all the clergy and the entire people you have gained for your own. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and form by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your Church, and graciously grant your peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And, and with, with your spirit. spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you, you take, take away the sins of the world. world. Have, have mercy on us. Lamb, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, who by the will of the Father and work of the Holy Spirit, through your death gave life to the world, free me by this, your most holy body and blood, from all my sins, from every evil. Keep me always faithful to your commandments, and never let me be departed from you. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that, that you should enter under my roof, 
but, but only say the word, word and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ keep us safe for eternal life. Amen. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are truly present in the Blessed Sacrament. I love you more than anything in this world, and I hunger to receive you sacramentally, but since I cannot receive communion at this moment, feed my soul at least spiritually. I unite myself wholly to you now, as I do when I actually receive you in Holy Communion. Never let me drift away from you. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Renewed and nourished by the sacred body and precious blood of your Son, we ask of your mercy, O Lord, that what we celebrate with constant devotion may be our sure pledge of redemption through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. Righteousness, peace, and joy in the Holy Ghost. Righteousness, peace, and joy in the Holy Ghost. That's the kingdom of God. Righteousness, peace, and joy in the Holy Ghost. Righteousness, peace, and joy in the Holy Ghost. That's the kingdom of God. Don't you want to be a part of the kingdom? Don't you want to be a part of the kingdom? Don't you want to be a part of the kingdom? Come on, come on everybody. Don't you want to be a part of the kingdom? Don't you want to be a part of the kingdom? Don't you want to be a part of the kingdom? Come on, come on everybody. Sacrament most holy, O Sacrament divine, O praise and O thanksgiving be every moment, O 
Join as we recite Psalm 91. You who live in the shelter of the Most High, who abide in the shadow of the Almighty, will say to the Lord, My refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust, for he will deliver you from the snare of the fowler and from the deadly pestilence. He will cover you with his pinions, and under his wings you will find refuge. His faithfulness is the shield and buckler, you will not fear the terror of the night, or the arrow that flies by day, or the pestilence that stalks in darkness, or the destruction that wastes at noonday. A thousand may fall at your side, ten thousand at your right hand, but it will not come near you. You will only look with your eyes and see the punishment of the wicked, because you have made the Lord your refuge, the Most High your dwelling place. No evil shall befall you, no scourge come near your tent, for he will command his angels concerning you to guard you in all your ways. On their hands they will bear you up, so that you will not dash your foot against a stone. You will tread on the lion and the adder, the young lion and the serpent you will trample underfoot. Those who love me I will deliver. I will protect those who know my name. When they call to me, I will answer them. I will be with them in trouble. I will rescue them and honor them. With long life, I will satisfy them and show them my salvation. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Mary, our mother, pray for us. Saint Anthony, pray for us. Saint Sebastian, our patron, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. <laughs> 